All right, I'm just going to review how to mount the EBV105 automatic shutoff controller. It's a Z-Wave device on a standard uh, solder tight half inch valve. So here's one that's already been mounted and it uses our, our standard uh, mounting bracket. Uh, the kit, the mounting kit comes with um, three sets of U-bolts, a mounting plate, some spacers, nuts, and washers. And in this case, we're going to use the uh, smallest set of U-bolts and the nuts that go with that and some washers. So let's just push these other ones out of the way, parts we don't need right now. And I'll show you how it's mounted. And I'm just going to fast forward through this, but let me just show you this quickly. So in the case of the half-inch valve, what we do is we add these spacers to bring it out this way a bit, which centers up the, uh, the pivot points. So it works properly. So here's a unit that's uh, working properly. And so closing. And uh, I'll just to show you that it's connected to my phone as a Z-Wave device. I'll just make it go the other way here with my phone. So you can see that. All right, so now I'm just going to go through the mechanical process and do fast forward through that. You can just see it as it goes quickly. But I'll just describe it again one more time, sorry. So you use the smallest U-bolts and the lower slots of the uh, bracket. You add the spacers here to bring it out this way a bit to center it out on both sides. Put the washers and the nuts on the back. When you add this, just make sure the uh, clutch pin is on the outside. So if you want to move this uh, manually, you can. And then we'll add the, uh, the slot uh, holders for the, uh, the lever handle here, these pins.